Hey guys, here's an update to my business card project. I took my latest design and modified it for my friends over at iFixit. So instead of having the legacy components and some of the other packages, I replaced them with iPhone based components, such as the connectors and tiny PGA packages. I used the same vendor as last time, but it seems like in this case, these cards didn't quite come out as good as my previous ones, and I'll show you. So this is the same type of card. My previous one is 8.8 uh, millimeter thickness. This is uh, 1 millimeter thickness just because of cost reasons, and that's the time uh, it was less expensive for them to make, so that's the one I went with. It also had a uh, shorter lead time. But in this case, it looks like they made some substantial mistakes on the trace width area and pin pitch area. Like, there's something not even populated, it's just not there, and they were there in my uh, Gerber files. So, I guess it's just some more mistakes this time. It could be just human error. It's a possibility there could be just rushing to get everything done before the Chinese New Year. I ordered it toward the end of December, beginning of January, so maybe that's a stretch. But uh, it's just, it's probably just error in this time. But it was uh, more than I was expecting. When you make a panel, there's usually a little note that comes up saying there's a certain percentage that are going to be defective, which is probably fine. But in this case, I wasn't expecting them to come out quite like this. It looks like there was contaminants uh, during the solder mask process, or one of the processes, and it was pulled along with the card. You could see the prepreg layer right there showing up, and it looks like the solder mask wasn't actually applied evenly. So it created this, this whole issue right here. Um, it happened on another board as well. I ordered 200 uh, of these cards, so having two that are, you know, extremely bad out of the bunch is not so bad. But unfortunately, that pin pitch part of it affected every single one of the cards. Uh, in this case, it looks like a similar problem where, again, some type of contaminant or something got on the PCB during its actual solder mask process, and it just destroyed the card. It looks like a hole was made here. I don't know if it was intentional or just to show that, hey, this is a bad card. Or if there was just an accident, I'm not, I'm not sure. But otherwise, the cards came out pretty good. They look fairly decent. There are some little mistakes here and there, but I was just, uh, I was surprised. It's not quite like the other ones. For example, there's an area right here where it's just solder mask missing. It looks like it was just not evenly coated. And you cl clearly see the electro nickel gold layer right there between the traces of the, the ruler. But otherwise, yeah, I really like them. They came out pretty good. And I'm going to try to just salvage whatever I can and send them over.